So uh, you probably saw us on Anything Is Possible. My name is Halloran Hilton Hill, and this is John Shanahan. And John, I just wanted to take a minute for you to teach me about this incredible technology and how it works. What am I looking at here? So what you're looking at is an ultrasonic air sanitizing technology. So the, let's 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 break it down. Ultrasonic. Right. So, what's that? So that's like the when you look at a speaker and the right. speaker vibrates, that's ultrasonic. So in the bottom of that machine is a ceramic disc and it's vibrating really, really quick. And what it's doing is it's taking our solution and it tosses it up into this little fog that's just sort of hovering there. And then there's a fan down inside that's pushing it out the top and it allows us to get the, the air sanitizing uh, solution suspended. So you use the ultrasonic technology to vibrate the solution and then you use a fan to push it out into the room in a very defined way. Exactly right. So what, it, what is this that's coming out into the room? So this solution is a mixed oxidant solution. It's typically known as hypochlorous. Sounds really scientific, but it's not. A lot of people would know this as a saltwater swimming pool. And saltwater swimming pools have become very popular, but we don't use bleach anymore. And what we're basically doing is taking salt and we turn it into this very safe solution. We put it in this pouch called air, put it into this machine, and we're putting this solution of hypochlorous up to clean the air, to make it safer for us. So in case there's dangerous things in the air, they won't interact with us. This will stop it in the air before it could get between you and I. How does this kill contaminants? So this little bit of moisture is floating through the air. When the contaminant is floating through the air, they intersect, and every single time, this solution wins. It winds up taking the contaminant, grabbing it, and destroying it. What's in this bottle? So that is a higher concentration of this solution, because on your cutting board at home, or in, in an office, or in the microwave, we have stronger germs because our hands are dirty, we're touching things, and this cleaner with this solution eliminates the risk of dangerous things transferring back to us. So it's a safe water-based solution that's strong enough to take care of that chicken juice on your cutting board and keeps us safe from those types of issues. With both of these solutions, are you able to, will you be able to source enough to make sure that you can make enough. <laughs> well, unless the world runs out of salt, we, we, and we don't think that's gonna happen, we simply take the most natural substance there is salt, and we separate that out, and then we're able to put it into a special machine that we build that makes this solution you see in the bottle and in the pouch. And, and it's an infinite supply. It doesn't have a carbon footprint because we're using nature and then we're able to generate it either on site. So we could make it in this building, or we have a little device, you can make it in your home. Aroma, there is no aroma, there's no smell. No. Have you been approached about adding <laughs> aromas? Yes, you know, the, uh, the good folks um, who love essential oils, and that's a wonderful business, they, they have a strong passion for, uh, you know, different fragrances but our solution is known as a mixed oxidant. And so if I were to pour Kool-Aid in there, the Kool-Aid would color would disappear because the oxidant would make it go away. Now it doesn't bleach, but we can't mix things that have fragrances because this is cleaning the air. And even though the So it would strip a fragrance. It would strip a fragrance. Very interesting. Um, worldwide demand, what do you see in terms of worldwide demand? As you do projections, what do you, what are you projecting? When you look out five years... 150 you... to 200 million dollars. Um, scalable uh, so that one day, instead of transporting salt, we would literally be able to go to the most impoverished nation, take seawater, simply filter it to get out the sand and the fish, and be able to take raw seawater and transform it into this on site in the poorest nations in the world to provide health, and sanitation for people who never have access to it. And that is the, the mission of this company, is to provide global health and sanitation. 
multi-billion dollar company is sitting on here, Brother Shanahan. <laughs> well, thank you, Hal. We, we believe so. We, I always tell our investors today, it, it, it has the potential of Apple, but remember, it's only 1986, so give us just a little bit more little time. Bit. We just need a little bit more time. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Hal.